guys, how's it going? It's your girl here, Laura. And today, I have a very special one for you and only you. So today I'm going to be trying out for the very first time and reviewing the Cremated Palette by Jeffree Star. I finally got my hands on it today. Like I literally got it in the mail this morning and I came home and I was like, we're doing this today. And of course, this is the look that I created today, so you guys know already how everything looks like. But definitely keep on watching if you want to see what I think about the palette and how it performed while I was creating this gorgeous look that I'm 100% obsessed with. But I'm gonna shut up now and we're just gonna go ahead into this video. Great, let's do this. I am barefaced and just ready to go. To prime my eyelids, I'm going to be using my P. Louise shade in base shade one, not two. Um, base shade one is a little bit lighter because since I am working with more cool tone eyeshadows, I just really want them to show, which is why I'm using a lighter base this time. I'm gonna be applying that with a flat, fluffy brush like this. I'm just gonna start tapping that base all over my eye. I always tell everybody, start with the tapping motions and tap, tap, tap because you want the base to re be really tacky. Then I always grab a bigger, fluffier brush just to blend out those edges because you don't want any harsh lines. Whenever that base um, dries, it's going to be 100% matte and you definitely don't want to have any harsh lines once you go in with your foundation. You want it to look very seamless and blend it into your skin. Alright, so I'm all done with my base and as you can see, all my edges are blurred and everything is set. Usually I would do one eye off camera, but I told you guys that I want this weird to be like really raw, very first impression. So I'm going to be doing my first eye on camera just so you guys can see how it performs and how I feel about it. First off, this box is absolutely gorgeous. I love how they did the cremated cutout. So you can see like the design underneath. Um, and this design is just absolutely gorgeous. Lipstick Nick, like always, did an amazing job doing Jeffree's makeup and I'm just like in awe. So let's just dive in to cremated, you guys. I'm really excited to try it out because it's been so controversial, the fact that it's called cremated and this really crazy time, some people felt some type of way about that. And also the fact that it's such a muted palette. I even said to myself when it came out, I wasn't really impressed. I just felt like the colors were so cool toned and just so ashy and I didn't understand why he wouldn't add a more darker shades to the palette. But after his explanation of why he chose these colors in particular, um, I understood and I understand that everybody's concept of gothic or just dark makeup is different and he just wanted to make an all cool toned eyeshadow palette. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so I have a look in mind that I want to try and accomplish. So. Um, I just gotta pick the shades. So I think the very first shade I'm going to pick is Grape Digger, which is the third one right here. It's a matte dark gray color. So first impressions, digging into that color, I have a lot of fallout on the pan. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's definitely a bunch of fallout and I just dipped it to my brush twice. I'm going to be using this super tiny tapered blending brush from Morphe times Jeffree Star because it's just smaller and it's going to give me that intensity that I want on the socket of my eye. So I'm gonna start right over here um, to create the shape that I want. So far, I'm really, really happy with the intensity and the pigmentation of this eyeshadow, so no complaints so far. Okay, so I'm very, very impressed with how pigmented this eyeshadow is and how easy it was for me to deposit it into my eye. Honestly, I'm not surprised because Jeffree's eyeshadow formula is absolutely amazing. I love his matte eyeshadows. They all perform amazingly. I'm just so impressed with this gray. Like, it, it's not looking murky at all. I'm loving it so far, so let's just keep going. And then after I'm done with that wing, I'm just going to connect it to the last lash on my lid. So we're like right about over here. I'm gonna connect that again to create that winged out shape. Mm -hmm. 
so now we have our first blend set um, now I'm definitely taking my unicorn cosmetics um, class of 86 tiny blending brush and the second shade is going to be eulogy which is this one right over here so I'm noticing a lot of fallout on the pan and honestly that's not a deal breaker for me because as long as it's not on my face like the actual fallout that's fine with me I, it doesn't really bother me um, but if that's something you care about I just wanted to let you guys know see I'm just going back and forth between my blends and just making sure that those edges are really nice and blended before I move on to my third and last blend. I'm going to be taking life insurance which is right next to eulogy and I'm going to be taking a fluffier brush again this one is from the same set from unicorn cosmetics and I'm just gonna start blending all of this out So far, so good. I'm very happy with how it's coming out. I'm really grateful about the fact that these eyeshadows are being very, very good at being very blendable. So they're not coming out murky at all. They're not looking patchy. Everything is good so far. So I'm just really, really happy with the formula. So a little tip for me, if your outer edges get very messy or you start getting fallout, just easily wipe it off with like a big powder brush underneath and then if you feel like your edges are not so sharp anymore because of the eyeshadows and all the blending, just take your blending brush again that you use to blend out the edges of the base, grab that little bit of the, of the base, and then just pull your skin forward or wherever it is that you're trying to get your eyeshadow to go and just clean up those edges. So as you guys can see, I just did it here and it's back again to being crisp and clean which is exactly how i want it and you can also just easily go like this on the eyeshadow and it'll definitely clean it up for you so now that i got my blending in place i just really want to cut the crease so the cut is not going to be 100 percent perfect that's not what i'm trying to go for so you don't really have to be really careful in how you're cutting your crease so all i'm doing is taking my base on a flat brush like this it has to be very very thin this is a morphe m224 which is my favorite cut crease brush and then I'm just going to start carving out that shape that I want Um, as you guys saw I did it with a flat brush it did take me a little bit of time because obviously we're working with grays and really dark colors so when you mix them with any type of base or anything like that they're gonna turn murky so you definitely want to clean up that crease very well before you go ahead and cut your crease with a base so for the lid I really wanted to have like a really shimmery finish like diamonds and I love the shade diamond ashes I think it's so beautiful and just so shimmery and I feel like it would be perfect for the lid so first I'm going to try to apply that shade with a flat brush but I have a feeling that these shimmer shades or like really glittery shades are going to be better off if you apply them with your finger but I just want to see how it applies with a brush first okay so I grabbed a little bit on the flat brush and now I'm just going to tap that in and ooh okay it's actually a lot more pigmented than I thought with a brush. So I think I can get away with it just applying it with the brush. Okay, so this is what it looks like so far and I am so in love with it. I mean, the shades blended perfectly and the diamond diamond ashes oh my god this shimmer is absolutely insane okay so now that i've created this on this side i'm going to catch up on this eye and i'll be back in a little bit 
Okay, so I just finished my foundation, my concealer, and pretty much everything else except for like my bronzer and blush and all that stuff. So now everything that I put on my lid, it's gonna come down to my lower lash line. So we're gonna do that now. So I brought the shade Grave Digger all the way down, but only halfway because I'm going to be applying some white over here. So I'm going to be grabbing my P. Louise Base Shade Zero, which is the white base, and taking a really thin brush like this onto my brush and then just adding it onto my inner corner, almost to create the illusion of like bigger eyes and just like a bigger inner corner. And then I'll be saving that base with the white shade Death Blow. And of course, I'm going to be topping my eyelashes with some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Bad Gale Gang Mascara. So for lashes, I'm putting these on and honestly, I don't even know the name of them. I just have them in my drawer and honestly, I have a lot of lashes and I don't know where I get them half the time. So. I'm just gonna put these on, okay? So I wanted to use the palette as highlight, so I'm really loving this shade called Afterlife, which for me, it's like the perfect highlighting shade. So I'm just gonna grab that on a small brush and let's just see how this, oh, hell. Yes. See, this is the kind of blinding highlight you all wanna have in your life, just saying. I love using eyeshadows as highlight because it, sometimes they just have that intensity that you need on your face. So now I'm gonna go do my lips and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I am all done and I'm ready to tell you my final thoughts on the cremated palette. When he first released the video um, talking about the palette and showing it for the first time, I was very underwhelmed. I thought it could have darker shades. I feel like the last three rows of the palette were completely unnecessary to be honest with you because they're very muted and light colors. And for me, a cremated gothic palette, like he was talking about, he was making it seem like this really cool, dark gothic palette should have darker shades. Also, I meant the last two rows, not three. But basically, I felt like these two rows were just so similar. The colors are so similar. And now that I've tried it out, I've seen it in person, I can tell you that I do believe that a lot of these shades are very unnecessary. Um, I feel like there's a lot of shades in this palette that I will probably never even touch just because I feel like they're so similar to one another. Um, Again, that's my opinion. I found a lot of people love this palette and don't get me wrong, I absolutely love the formula. I just feel like it could have been a little better if he just chose maybe darker shades or just all kinds of darker shades because that's what I think about when I think of gothic. I love the formulation. The, I mean, Jeffree's formula is absolutely amazing. The colors blended beautifully and to be honest with you, I am obsessed with how this look came out. Um, this is exactly what I had in mind and obviously, as you guys can see, I added these two little guys so I went all out today. But overall, it is a really nice palette and it's definitely a great addition to a makeup artist kit. I would definitely not use this palette on everybody because I feel Feel like on darker skin complexions it could definitely look very ashy and i would never want to make anybody look ashy so i'll probably stay away from this palette when it comes to like darker skin complexions but for lighter complexions like porcelain skin i think this is absolutely gorgeous and i do believe it has the best grays you will ever find because a lot of times when i work with grays they're very very murky very hard to blend but these colors did not give me any issues at all with blending with the pigmentation nothing like that it did not look patchy it was just really really good overall experience creating this and honestly i'm just so in love with it i'm in love with how it came out and 
I'm speechless. That's all I gotta say. If you don't like cool toned eyeshadows or very toned down eyeshadows, you're definitely not gonna like it. So I would definitely recommend you to not spend your money on it. But those are my last thoughts on Cremated and you guys saw how I performed on camera and my first impressions and all that kind of stuff. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more pictures of this look, definitely go check out my Instagram. It is at LauraAreasMUA. I've probably posted plenty of videos and pictures of this look and it's gonna have a full product description on there so definitely go check that out but that's it for me today guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me and of course i will see you on the next one bye